scientists started to analyze the mathematics of string theory, they found certain equations that could only make sense, the theory would only be internally mathematically consistent if the universe had more than three dimensions. In Kaluza's day, he just had this creative idea of the possibility of an additional dimension of space, but it wasn't something that was forced upon him by the mathematics. String theorists have found quite the opposite. In studying the mathematical equations of the theory, the possibility of extra dimensions is forced upon us. The theory just doesn't make sense without them. And in fact, the extra dimensions, not just one in number, the way it was in Kaluza's day, but depending exactly on how you count, six or seven additional dimensions of space that themselves have a very interesting and rich geometry. Let me just show you what they would look like. So picking it up from that little ant with the example of an additional dimension in the shape of a tiny circle, string theory says, no, the additional dimension wouldn't look like a tiny circle. Instead, it says that the additional dimensions would look kind of like this. These are called Calabiao shapes. We'll encounter them in the discussion that we'll have in a little while. These are complex Kähler manifolds of vanishing first turn class, but if that language offends you, you can just look at the picture. <laughs> and you see that there's this nice, rich, intertwined geometry associated with these additional dimensions. And you know, if, if these ideas are correct and you're able to magnify the microscopic fibers of space, space all around you, not deep out in the cosmos, but right here in this room, if these ideas are correct and you magnified space, you'd see the ordinary dimensions that we all know about, the grid, but you'd also see those little tiny curled up dimensions, additional dimensions of space that the mathematics absolutely requires.